Hello, Gary Simon here of designcourse.com. Today we're going to step into Blender to do a two-part, two-day video tutorial on how to create a USB stick, kind of similar to Google's Chromecast. All right, so basically, if you need access to the project files, they're available for free at YouTube and at designcourse.com. And subscribe here at YouTube if you haven't yet. All right, let's get started. Okay, so if you've never used Blender before, basically uh, to select objects, you right-click by default. And to move around, you use your third or middle mouse button. To zoom up, you use your scroll wheel. And then to pan, you just hold shift in that middle or third mouse button. All right, so very simple. So just so we're looking at the same thing, I'm going to go to File, New, and Reload Startup File. And I'm going to get rid of this cube. All right, so basically the starting point uh, of the object is kind of like a, a circular area, and then it comes down into that USB stick portion. So what we want to do is go to Shift, hit Shift A, and we'll choose Mesh Circle. All right, so now what we want to do is go to Edit Mode. So in Object Mode, we can move things around, scale them up, and rotate. But if we go and hit Tab, that puts us into edit mode and that gives us a finer control of how to manipulate a actual object. So what we want to do is basically extrude this up. So we hit E and you can see we can kind of just move it around in any, any which way, but if we want it to stay on a specific axis like the Z, Z axis, we can just hit Z. All right, maybe just up right around there. And then hit S for scale to scale it in slightly. Maybe right around there. Hit E and then Z again. Right around there, left click. And then hit S to scale that in once more. Maybe right around that size. All right, so what we want to do now is extend this down. Uh, I would say probably starting right about here. So hit A to deselect. Hit B, as in boy, to create this selection. Just left click and drag. These four works well. And then drag these down. I'd say right around there looks pretty accurate. Yeah, right around there. And then what we want to do is fill in this top portion with an actual face. So if you right click here and hit Alt, Oops, sorry. Alt, right click, right there. That will select all those vertices on that same path. Hit F now, and that will fill it in. All right, very simple. All right, so now what we want to do is come over here. I'm going to pull this out. We're going to click on this object modifiers uh, right here. And we want, no, sorry, object modifiers right here. We want to add the mirror modifier. All right, so we want it not to be on X to mirror it, but on Z or Z. So now it's adding everything up here as down here. All right, so very simple. All right, so now what we also want to add, I'm going to go ahead and apply that, by the way. Oops, we can't add in edit mode. So hit tab to go to object mode and hit apply. All right, we'll also go ahead and add a subdivision surface. All right, so this will basically uh, take everything and smooth it out a lot. So over here, we want to uh, click on Smooth Shading as well. All right, so I'm going to take the divisions up to 3 for the view and the render. And right now, it doesn't look good at all because the subdivision surface really just kind of makes everything uh, just pancakey. So we can go in and fix that by going back into Tab. You can see our vertices and everything still remains the same because we haven't applied the subdivision surface. So what we want to do is add some edge loops. So if we hit Control R, add one right there. Hit Control R again, left click, add one there. Hit Control R again, left click, add one there. And do this basically around all of the potential edges. And then finally one right here. Oops. Wrong key. 
I take control Z. All right, so now if we uh, come back out, we can see it has definitely more definition. I think we could probably extend this down a little bit further. So if I go back into edit mode, hit A, B, and then pull it down here. Also, we can add some edge loops if we go to, oh wait, wait one, one second. I forgot about that. We have to turn on this limit selection to visible. So what we have to do is hit A, B, it'll select all the vertices that aren't in view and then pull that down. All right, so we can add an edge loop as well. Let's see here, uh, let me just select over here. Hit Control R. Control R. All right, so now it has more definition, kind of looks more like uh, the actual USB stick from Google Chromecast. All right. Uh, so now what I want to do is real quickly just add the actual part that you actually, the USB part that you plug into. I guess you call that the mail or whatever. <laughs> so what we want to do is hit uh, Shift A. We'll add a mesh cube. Hit S to scale that down just a little bit. We'll pull it over there. Hit 7 on your number pad and that gives you the top view. That way we can get things centered up a little bit. I'm going to hit S and Y to scale it this way. And it's pretty much in center right there. I'm going to move it out a little bit further. We're going to hit 1. And this is the front view, although it's not front. 3 will get us to the right side, but this is actual front. Hit S and Z. Yeah, it's sticking out a little bit too far. I think it needs to be scaled in a little bit on the Y axis. If you hit uh, 7 and then S and Y. Maybe move it up just a tad. All right. And then what we want to do is take the... Uh, go into edit mode with this selected. So hit tab. We'll go to face select, right click this, hit E, and then left click, and then hit S to scale it in. Now the amount of thickness is at the top that we want here, but over here it's a little bit too much. So hit S and then Y, and then scale that up right around there. Then what we want to do is hit S and then also X. Oops, no, 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 sorry. Hit E, left click, and then move it in. There we go. All right. So now, let's go ahead and just preview what this thing looks like, uh, just on a very basic level. Uh, so what we'll do is change from Blender Render to Cycles Render. And by the way, I'm using Blender 2.70. So if you're using something earlier, um, go ahead and download the updated version. And so now what we want to do is go ahead into rendered mode. And we'll see everything's just very bland and gray. So let's take our world tab and take that color and turn it up a bit. All right. And I'm also going to go over here to the render section and change the device to GPU compute. And come over here to sampling turn the samples for rendering up to a thousand and then for preview which is what we're previewing now we'll go up to 100 and that just makes everything look a little bit better although we can't tell right now at this point all right so let's also get it plain uh, over here so let's switch back here to solid and hit Shift A, mesh in plane, S for scale, and we'll scale it up by 20. Actually, maybe I hit S2 just to go by 40 or so. All right, and let's go ahead real quick. I'm going to add a light or an emission plane. So I'm just going to come out here around here, 
maybe near the camera and shift a plane and then R for rotate 45 and I'm just moving it around here scale it up maybe by two let me push it back just a bit and come over here to the materials gonna hit new and then change the diffuse to where's that at emissions around here somewhere there it is okay and then also take the strength up to about 10 so now if we switch to rendered here we have some light to work with yeah just right around there and if we right click this real quick and give it a new material make it this color we can kind of get the basic shape we could also right click on this portion hit new change it to I think uh, where is it at yeah anisotropic I don't even know how to pronounce it I'm so terrible uh, and that way it looks like a chrome and I'm gonna end the tutorial right here just for today and then we'll finish this up tomorrow I uh, yeah I'm still dealing with a medical issue and just uh, I'm feeling dizzy and stuff so otherwise I would finish it today but yeah I gotta spread these out a bit for now until I get this f crap figured out alright so uh, tomorrow what we'll do is we'll get it looking like the actual uh, material with a, a very light bump kind of uh, plastic dark plastic material and then also go in Photoshop and add the actual decal and such right there all right so i'm gary simon designcourse.com check out this site and subscribe on youtube if you haven't all right goodbye